Hello friends, this is April with Health for Life Cooking. Are you one of the many who are taking probiotics on a regular basis? If you are, that can be a good thing, but when you're putting those little lactobacilli and other good bacteria into your body, you need to make sure that you're feeding them. And the food that they eat is called prebiotics, and prebiotics are found in fiber. And fiber is found only in plant foods, vegetables, especially root vegetables, fruits, beans, and whole grains. And Dr. Richard Matthews, in his interview with Clint Pattison of the Pattison Program, he talks about oats and how great they are for healing the gut. In fact, they devote an entire podcast on just oats, and I'm going to put the link to that podcast below this video. I love having oats for breakfast, and today I'm going to show you how to make my apple cranberry oats. So let's get started. So when I eat my grains, I like to eat them whole, intact, which means they're just the way that they came off the plant. But when you're using a grain that's a little bit hardier like wheat or oats, it takes a lot longer to cook. So what I do is I pre-plan, which is very important to help speed up the cooking process. So what I do is I take my whole, my whole oats, these are oat groats, and at night while I'm in the kitchen fixing dinner, I just put them in a jar with some water, and then I let them set overnight. And then in the morning, I strain them off in my strainer, and rinse them really good and then they're ready to cook. Now if you're planning far enough ahead of time, what you can do is you can let these sit on the counter, rinse them a few times and let them set for about 24 hours and that's going to make them start to sprout. And when you sprout a grain, you're exploding the nutritional value of it. And so I try to do that. I've got oats soaking and oats sprouting kind of rotating. So every morning I've got some oats that are ready to go. But if you don't have time to do that, that's totally fine. Just soak them overnight, rinse them off in your strainer, and then we're going to throw them in our pan. Add about a half a cup of water. And you don't need to measure that water. I just want my oats swimming. And then put on the lid. I'm going to turn my burner on to medium. Set my timer for 10 minutes. And then I can just leave them and go finish getting ready for work or go about my day or whatever it is. And then I'll come back in 10 minutes and check them. All right, so my timer just went off and my oats are boiling and you want them to be nice and chewy. So if you need to let them boil just a little bit longer, go ahead and do that. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna put in one and a half teaspoons of cinnamon. I like lots of cinnamon and cinnamon's super high in antioxidants. All right, and then I'm gonna throw in some cranberries and I just do about a half of a cup of cranberries. Whoops, that's probably a little bit more than a half a cup. That's all right. And these are tart, so I'm gonna need to add a little bit of a sweetener to this either honey or maple syrup or some raisins or some dried other dried fruit. And then I'm just going to put that lid back on while I chop my apple and I'm going to add some chopped apple to this and I'm going to use my Vidalia chop wizard. So I'm just coring my apple. All right. And then I'm going to chop this in my chopper. Then I'm going to add them to my oats. And I'm not going to worry about stirring them right now. I'm just going to put the lid back on and put it back on my burner for another five minutes. All right, my timer's going off again. It's been five minutes and my oats and apples are boiling. According to uh, Dr. Tom O'Brien, he says that when you cook an apple, it softens the fibers of the skin and makes the pectin more bioavailable. And that pectin is really good for healing your gut as well. So we've got a gut healing breakfast right here. All right, and then what I'm gonna add to this still more is, because it's all about more, I'm going to add a third a cup of rolled oats. And this is just going to add a little bit different texture. It's going to add a little bit of a creaminess, a little bit more of a sticky stickiness to it, which I like. 
sticks to your ribs just a little bit better. One thing great about cranberries is they're like all berries. They're super healthy, great for the heart, and they are um, great for reducing your risk of cancer, and they're just an all-around great berry that's super high in antioxidants, just like blueberries. All right, I'm gonna just set those on the, on the burner with my burner off, and just let those sit until I'm ready to eat them. All right, here is my apple cranberry oats. And as you can see, they're super, super thick. And it's just the way I like them. But if you wanted to add some almond milk or another plant milk to this, that would be really delicious. But this is just the way I'm having. And I did add a little bit of um, honey to this. Just a quick, just to kick up the sweet sweetener. And you could add some maple syrup or some other dried fruit if you'd like. You could also add some chopped nuts to this. I think chopped walnuts would be really great. You could do some chia seeds or hemp seeds or ground flax seeds would bump up the nutritional value. But be very careful with using those foods every day. I have developed a sensitivity to all nuts and seeds. And I firmly believe that it was because I was following that recommendation to eat a tablespoon of flax seeds every day, for instance. And over time, I developed a sensitivity to it. I started my plant-based nutrition journey back in 1991 and used flax seeds for many, many years, and now I can't have them. So they just give me headaches. So be very careful about food sensitivities. There's a reason that plants grow in season. I think we need to rotate them and not have them all the time. So anyway, if you are interested in more whole food recipes, you can find them on my website, at healthforlifecooking.com and you can also find them in my cookbooks. Whole Food Goodness and Whole Food American Favorites, jam-packed with whole natural plant food recipes. No oils, very few processed sugars, very few processed grains, just all whole food goodness. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you know anyone who's interested in gaining optimal health through plant-based nutrition, share it. Until next time, this is April with Health for Life Cooking, wishing you the very best of health, for the rest of your life.